Hi, this is Mike Cuddy, and here's one of my other projects. I would have to say out of all the projects that I've done, this is by far probably one of my weakest projects. It basically was looking at uh, Federal Elections Commission's API, which I got from right over here. You can look in the README. And um, I didn't really have a direction for this project. I just wanted to make something simple where you could look up candidates and there wasn't really a lot to, for me that I see that I could see I could do with this API that was really interesting to me, and so I basically decided to keep it as simple because I had a much bigger Flask project that I was working on that I had plans for that I'm currently working on. So I just kind of wanted to finish this one up real fast and move on to the Flask one. So, anyways, here's like the home screen, and you can basically log in with my usual name of Gus and head on in there, and you can see you come to the screen. It does have uh, the picture changes up at the top, so every, I think, five seconds or so, it should rotate. There it goes. So I have that, and then I type in, like, a candidate information, so I could just type in Paul Ryan because his name's nice and short, and submit it. And it basically pulls up the information, how he ran for president. I don't know why the API pulls out the dates like this, like 2008, 2010. Because obviously he did not run for president those years. He ran for president in this year. So I don't know why he gets back. Over here it makes a lot more sense where he's uh, running for the House when he first got elected in 1998. But the only thing here at the end is I think it's just assuming he's going to run for 2018 or he may have already filed his paperwork. So that's what the information does right there. It's a very simple project. That's really all there is to it. I could clear the screen and type in, like let's say, just random gibberish. And I had some error, so tell no results found. So that's basically it right there. Uh, this project doesn't have that much to it. You can log out. It just takes you right back here. But that's it. And like I said, what basically happened is I wanted to work with an API. And then, as I've stated before, a lot of my Node and Express projects deal with working with APIs. And I end up actually spending some time thinking about what's the next API I'm going to use and how am I going to use it. And... The thing here is I found the FEC, FEC one. It was interesting, it was interesting to me because I have a political science background, but I didn't really know. Like There wasn't that much interesting stuff I could do with this API that I saw initially that really uh, sparked my interest. At first, the candidate lookup was interesting, and I thought I could do a lot more with that. Maybe if I dug a little bit more, I could have, but I just kind of just stopped at that point. So that's uh, it for this project, and I hope you enjoy it.